All right, my lawn and garden friends, thanks for joining me in today's video. Today on Mow Time Maintenance, I'm gonna take you guys through how to properly maintain and service your hedge trimmer at home. So we make sure we get nice, clean cut, delicious looking hedges. All right, let's get into it. First off, I just bought a couple of these from Bunnings. These are just little um, packs you can buy, soft bristle brushes in different textures, um, different softness and hardness for doing different areas. But I like these because they help me clean the blade system. Also for the blade system, I use WD-40 products and also steel products. Now the first one is an actual cleaner. So this is WD-40, um, as you can see, lawn and garden cleaner. So it does foam up. You just basically shake the bottle, spray it on there, as I will show you later and um, leave it sit for a bit and then you can give it a good scrub and clean it off. The other one is once you've done your sharpening and cleaning then this is one you spray on just to protect it, stop the sap from building up on it and helping to sharpen those hedge trimmer blades but we'll go through that in a minute as well. Now the other important thing you'll need to pick up is hedge trimmer, ah, uh, hedge trimmer, gearbox grease. Now I do recommend just going with the manufacturer provided grease for your product. This is the still one, it's called Multilube. Now, the last thing you'll need is some sort of sharpening tool. Now this is a Dremel, which I bought, which just has this little fine, well it has multiple different fine, um, different courses of, of tool bits for doing sharpening on metal. Now, you can use a hand file, but um, I used to do that years ago and it's, it's very slow. I just don't have the time to slowly file um, each and every tooth, just like I used to do on my chainsaws. I used to hand file all my chains on my chainsaws. Um, but that is also very time consuming and I went ahead and bought an actual chain sharpening machine which was, you know, just half the time, even more, much faster. So if your time, um, you know, your time's very valuable, then I do definitely recommend going down and getting something like a Dremel which you just plug in. I think it was around $150, I think. I'm not sure I bought this ages ago, but um, yeah. So your first section is the blade area. And as you can see, this is in dire need of a sharpen and also a good clean. You can see the buildup of sap and everything on the blade, which is ideally not what you want. And that's why we spray chemicals on here to help that, but I'll talk about that later when we uh, talk about what we need for doing the servicing. But yeah, so the first section is blades. The second section to focus on is the gearbox housing of the gear of the hedge trimmer. And then the third one, of course, is the engine area. Now, of course, this, as you can see, is a battery operated hedger. So no combustion engine going on here. So we don't need to do much in the way of servicing down this end, which is kind of what I enjoy switching over to battery gear. Um, anyway, going from hedge, uh, combustion engine hedges anyway. If you have a combustion engine run hedge trimmer, then of course you would need to be servicing this end of the hedge trimmer, doing the spark plug, the filter, and anything like that requires doing something. So if you have a battery one, of course, just pull out your battery, do a general check. I've got the AP300 I run on here, which is fantastic. Just do an overall check of your battery, look for any cracks or wear and tear, and of course, look in the end, see if there's any issues going on there, but otherwise mine is fine. So that's it at that end. Right, so we might begin with the gearbox. Now, I'm not expecting my gearbox to be too bad. Um, I did grease it not that long ago, so we'll crack it open anyway, just for educational purpose, and you guys can see how it is inside. Yeah. So we'll crack these open first, and they shouldn't be too tight. Don't ever do these screws up very tight. They should always just be tight enough, but not over tightened, so. We'll undo these first and you can see inside what it looks like on a hedge trimmer gearbox. There we go, so we've got our screws out. All right, so let's take a look inside here. 
and then you just pop I mean on the still you just pop these open you should be able to just lift it up now and away you go um, yeah, you don't want to completely fill this with grease. You just want to put some dots out in certain main working areas where they're moving. And when you run it again, the grease will move around, lubricate all the necessary areas and done. That is it. Don't completely fill it up with grease. So I'll grab my multi-lube here. And all I want to do is literally just put a blob there, a blob there. I'll probably chuck a little bit in there, and a little bit in there, a little bit there, a little bit on the teeth so when they turn, and a little blob there. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done six blobs of grease, and that's literally all you need. Again, don't fill it up with grease. Don't just absolutely chockers this up. It's not how you properly gear, um, grease a gearbox. Okay, and that is it. That is the simple thing of greasing your gearbox. And for $15 for that grease thing and a couple of seconds to take the thing off, grease it and put it back on, that can save you heartache when you're out on a job and all of a sudden your hedge trimmer snaps and it's not working anymore. Then you're up for $400 plus or whatever you've spent on your machine to get a new one. So for $15, like you're saving yourself a big headache and waste of time. So yeah, so that's it. That's greasing your gearbox. So we'll put the uh, cowling back on now. Super simple, just pops back on. We'll do the screws up. All right, done. All right, now the third step, which is also one of the most important steps in maintaining a hedge trimmer is of course your blade system. So, I did some hedge trimming last week and started to notice, um, which is, you know, the way you keep an eye on your hedge trimmer. Look at the tr the plants and the hedges, etc., trees that you are trimming. Look what the hedge trimmer is doing to those trees. It's really obvious to notice when your hedge trimmer is not sharp. It'll start to just like a lawnmower, it start to tear the plant as opposed to cut the plant. And I mean, a real common one to see it on is uh, Marias. We trim a lot of marayas here in Brisbane, very popular hedge variety for a reason. But the good thing about marayas is the way the plant is, it's, it's really easy to see um, and it makes it very obvious when the hedge trimmer is not trimming it clean with a nice cut. It'll look like, you know, it's grown hair on all on top of the plant poking out everywhere because it's just not giving that clean cut. And that's an indication that your blades aren't sharp enough. So we'll get into sharpening, which we'll get the Dremel out and get into sharpening. But first we're gonna clean it. So we'll get our cleaner. We'll put that on, we'll let it sit for a bit and then we'll wash it off and then we'll get into cleaning. We wanna get all this sappy gunk off um, and we'll go through the sharpening process and I'll show you a before and after of it. All right, let's get into it. So that is the cleanup done on the blades and already, hang on, let me bring it up somewhere. It might be easier for you to see. Already that difference is massive, massive difference, even just in cleaning it. There we go. So that got all the sap and grime that it's collected over the past numerous days of hedging. There's the base. A lot nicer but yeah so that's it now we've cleaned it time to get on to sharpening now when it comes to sharpening um, just find your angle do a pass on the first one get yourself in a good position for, and then just start doing some passes on it and find your angle and hold that angle that way you know each angle to come back onto the next one onto the next one like I've done here now yeah find somewhere secure somewhere where you can sort of be in a good position to maintain that angle and keep going at that angle. Me wind and rain. 
are done. Let me just bring this down on the ground so you can probably see it a bit better on camera. But we have sharpened all the teeth and they are looking 10 times better. Now, just do it slowly. It does take time, but it is common and I'm guilty in the past of thinking I've done all the teeth and then I realize I haven't. So you gotta remember there's two sides to each one. So you gotta do both sides, but then you also need to remember to flip it over and do the back side of them because there's two on each of the back side as well. So yeah, just make sure, take your time and just check over it before you pack up your gear and then realize, oh shoot, I forgot to do that side or something. So yeah, but that's it. All right guys, so that was the third thing, cleaning uh, your blades and then giving them a sharpen. And it is awesome cutting with sharp equipment. It just makes any job way easier. And again, the plant will be very thankful for you cutting it with sharp blades. The last thing to do is a really key important thing as well, as well as ongoing maintenance every time you use your hedge trimmer. And that is spraying something like Super Clean from Still. Um, on the hedge trimmer every time you use it to pack it away. Why this stuff is important is because one, it breaks down any sap that might be on the blade system. Now I talked about that earlier, becoming glue and gluing your blade system together. This, you spray it on after you finished hedging and this breaks down any sap and doesn't let it dry onto the um, blade system creating that problem down the track. What it also does is lubricate the blades so when they're passing over each other um, it just creates a nice oiled smooth surface so they can pass over each other without heating up immensely and causing any issues like we did with the grease in the gearbox. So yeah, really important to get yourself a can of this. It's literally around $15, I think, from your local steel dealer. You can use any product, like I said, from WD-40, anything that is a garden cleaner or a garden lubricant um, for the hedge system. Just check with your local dealer or wherever you are. Check with them, ask them, what product do I need? But yeah, if you use still products, then yes, super clean is what you want for spraying on every time you use your hedge trimmer. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's spray some of this stuff on. I'll show you that. Actually, I'll just do it right here on the table. Just give the stuff a good shake. Um, and then what I mainly do too, see how my blade system's basically together? It's not apart. You don't want that. Move the blade system a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Now, see how the blade system's apart now? Now we can get the lubrication onto those areas and then we can run it and they can go over it. So yeah, give the can a little shake, like mostly pretty much every can in the world, give it a shake first. And then you just give it a spray. Down one side and down the other, simple as that. I normally like to turn it over and give the back side a spray as well. That's it, you can see how glossy shiny it is now. And then all I do, now I should have space, there we go, yep. I just hang it off the edge, make sure you hang it off the edge of somewhere where it's not gonna cut anything you don't want. And then just run it for a little bit. There we go, that's all you need to do. And that has also moved the new grease around inside the gearbox we did, and has also moved the lubrication over that bar and look how clean it is 10 times better well so yeah anyway we'll wrap the video up there guys that is it that is how to maintain and service sorry service and sharpen your hedge trimmer at home it is a really simple task to do but yeah if you have any more questions regarding it or anything you'd like to add into the video that i may have missed uh please put them in the comments below and um yeah we're all here learning on this lawn and garden adventure if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and hit the thumbs up on any of the videos you enjoy on the channel i really love making videos for you guys i really enjoy doing this channel um, you know, it's my it's my side little fun hobby I do on the side of my business, but I really enjoy it and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos at home. This is probably the first video going out on 2023, so I hope you all had a great start to your new year. And so yeah, anyway legends, I hope you're staying well mentally and physically, and we'll see you guys in the next video.